welcome back to the sixth episode of Rookie Herschel. We are in the second half of the 2018 Blancpain GT Series Championship on ACC. Today we are racing on Misano. Misano is a track I'm super unfamiliar with. I've had some short practices here, but I never really spent the time learning it. As for our championship, we didn't score any points in the last race and lost a fair chunk of the lead. We are still currently leading by 10 points, but if we keep finishing races with no points, it will get hard for us to finish the season strong. And before we get started, a big thank you to Tell Us Story Hive and a short message from our sponsor. This series is sponsored by Rossa Sim Racing. RSR is my go-to sim wheel providers in today's market. I'm a fan of their GT sim wheels and I currently own two GT wheels with the third one on its way. Scan the QR code if you want to check out more info about RSR and mention Rookie Herschel to see what they can offer you. Keeping the trend, we are going to set the track conditions and weather random. I'm really hoping for a dry race. I haven't had practice on a wet Misano before. Also following the same change as last time, we'll keep the quality and race time the same as the 2018 season. The quality will be set at 2 p.m. and the race at 8 p.m. I've brought the AI scale down to 93% for this race. I really need more practice on this track. Green light. Go, go, go. And my wishes never come true. It says the track is damp, but it's raining super hard, so it will probably get wet very soon. Straight into my final quality run, the track is almost flooded and I'm just fighting the car on every turn and even straights. It just keeps slipping everywhere and this is going to be a tough workout on my arms. Anyways, I'll let you enjoy the rest of the lap. And we finished P20. I just couldn't get any pace out of the car. It was way too slippery and well I can only hope for some positions in the race now. This is not really looking good for the championship. Starting last in the race the track is flooded now for sure and it just keeps raining hard. It's expected to stop in 10 minutes and then start raining again, so let's see how we can strategize this. Also for the visibility, I have none, so that's great. And wow, we gained about 6 positions in the first few corners. I guess I just got really lucky. 
The positioning was great, but the traction was almost non-existent. I have to be very careful driving around now. Another position gained. This is proving to be a very good start to the race. I just want to maintain the momentum and keep pushing like this. We have an ass in the front. I know they're really good on the straights, especially in the rain. Let's keep pushing and try to get more out of this. I finally caught up with the Aston and I'm prepared to make a lunch down the inside. I have to start looking after my tires however. They are not looking great anymore. We are running P12 now with 22 more minutes to go. It's been a fantastic start, but I think my tires are getting flat spotted. I can feel vibrations on the straights. I think I might be locking up my brakes a bit too much. Trying to chase this Bentley now, I can see a big group of cars ahead of it too. So we really need to overtake the Bentley quickly and get moving ASAP. Also looks like the rain is almost done too, and the pit window is here as well. I think I'll keep pushing the tires to the brink so we can have a fresh slot for the end of the race. The rain has completely stopped now and I can see finally. I'm pushing the tires to the end of the pit window so I can get a super fresh set at the end. Basically overcutting but let's see if it pays off. Hitting in this lab, we did fairly good lap times. Now the question is, what was the net gain in that overcut? Stop, 
and this BMW won't give me any space. I decided to back off and they gave me such a shock at the end by breaking for no reason. Go. I thought we were going to crash and that was going to be the end of the race for us. So we ended up losing a few positions, but I have fresher tires than others by a few laps. You can see the lap everyone pitted beside the name on the top right. As for the race, I was pushing the car to the max, trying to salvage as much as I could. With just 8 minutes left, I was really pushing, but oh well. I lost the traction of the car on the first few turns and the rain just did not help at all. We spun the car and lost a few more positions. The tires are toast too, so oh well. Chasing number 333 near the end now, the tires are really not in a good shape anymore. They keep screeching and locking up on every turn. The goal now is just to finish the race and bring the car home now. that's the race finish. We were about to lose another position. I almost didn't notice the McLaren in the back and my tires were super toast so I don't even think I could put up a fight to be completely honest. We finished P17 at the end. A horrendous race which got better by the mid and then got worse again. It is a race to forget and move on to the next one. As for the championship, we have finally lost the lead by a small margin. We can recoup the lead in the next few races, but I think I need to practice more and stay focused. We can't be having zero point races now. Next episode, we are racing on Circuit de Spa, Franco Champs, a legendary track with almost no need for any introduction. I'm really looking forward to racing on it. I hope you liked this episode and I really hope to see you on the next one too.